today's session i am going to discuss about pseudo nmos logic so previous videos we discussed the concept of cmos pmos and nmos so this video i am going to teach how to design the inverter nand gate and nor gate using pseudo nmos so if you are watching first time in my channel kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos now we move on the session now, i am going to draw the structure of pseudo nmos so this pseudo nmos involved one pmos transistor and pull down network so pull down network so this line is vdd this line is vss this is the output line so pmos transistor gate is permanently connected to ground so it's a pmos transistor so in sumo uh, sudo nmos logic only one pmos transistor present and more than one nmos transistor present is a structure of sudo nmos in cmos here i am drawing the inverter circuit so it's vdd this one is vss is the output so in sudo nmos the gate terminal of pmos transistor is permanently connected to ground but cmos the gate terminal of pmos transistor is connected to input variable so input variable so here the inverter circuit input variable is a so this a is connected to the input of gate terminal so it's a pmos so this one is nmos transistor So in CMOS circuit, the number of PMOS transistor is taken based on the input variables. Suppose in the Boolean expression is like this. So in this case, we have a four PMOS transistor. We have a four for a PMOS transistor taken right to design the Boolean expression. Suppose solo NMOS in the sense only one PMOS transistor and four NMOS transistor is taken right to design the solo NMOS logic. So now I am going to design the NOR gate using pseudo NMOS. So this is the VDD, and this line is called as VSS. Take the output between the PMOS transistor and NMOS transistor. So in this pseudo NMOS input, only connect to pull down network. So A is the input. So this input is connected to the gate terminal of NMOS. So this PMOS transistor gate terminal is permanently connected to ground. Now I just verify the output of this inverter circuit. So A and A bar. So A bar is the output. A value is zero. Output is one. A value one. output is zero just i apply this input in, into the circuit so a value is zero so in this case the nmos transistor turn off so vdd connect to output through the pmos transistor so this pmos transistor is always on so always on state now a bar value is one the truth table output and this logic diagram output both of same suppose a value 1 so a value 1 in the sense the pmos sorry nmos transistor is turned on so vdd connect to ground through pmos transistor and nmos transistor so in this case output of the inverter is zero so it's a simple structure of uh, nor gate using pseudo nmos now i am going to design nand gate So VDD in pseudo NMOS only one PDF transistor is required. So gate of this transistor is connected permanently to ground. So these two NMOS transistor are called as pull down network. So the expression of NAND gate is A dot B the whole bar. So here the operator is dot. So dot operator in the sense NMOS transistor is connected series connection. So inputs are A and B. 
So T1 and T2. So T1 transistor is connected to input A, T2 transistor connected to input B. So we will get the output from here. So this line is VSS, this line is VDD. So this is the PMOS transistor. So A dot B, the whole part. So now I get truth table. So it has a two variable. So this two variable making four combinations of input. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what is the property of uh, NAND gate? If any one input is 0, the corresponding output is 1. So 1, 1, 1, 0. So just I verify this two table output uh, with this logic circuit. Let me take this input value, A value 0, B value 1. So A value 0, B value 1. So in this case, T1 transistor turn off, T2 transistor turn on. So this transistor goes to high impedance state. So this T1 transistor always on. So always on state. So this VDD is connected to output through this PMOS transistor. Now output of this circuit is 1. Now I am taking this input A value 1, B value 1. So both the variables are set to be 1. So in this case T1 transistor turn on, P2 transistor also turn on. So PMOS transistor also turn on. So VDD directly connect to ground through PMOS transistor, T1 transistor and T2 transistor. Now output of the logic circuit is 0. So it's a simple structure for pseudo MOS logic. Now I am going to draw <coughs> NOR gate. So Boolean expression A plus B the whole bar. So it's VDD. So in this pseudo MOS, you need a only one PMOS transistor. So gate of the PMOS transistor is connected to ground. Here the Boolean expression plus operator is present. So plus in the sense MOS transistor connected parallel. So already we discussed this concept in the previous video. If you need it, kindly refer the video. So input is A and another input is B. So T1 and T2. So this one is a PMOS transistor. So here we will get the output. So A plus B, the whole part. So VDD and VSS. Now I write the truth table for this NOR gate. A, B, A plus B, the whole bar. So, these two variable making four combinations of input 0, 0, 0, 1, <coughs> 1, 0, 1, 1. So, now I just verify this truth table value with this logic circuit. So, here NOR gate operation 0 plus 0, 0 after taking complement 1, remaining all the values goes to 0. Thus, I am taking this input value, so A value 0, B value 1. So, in this case, T1 transistor of T2 transistor on, so PMOS transistor always on. Because the gate terminal is permanently connected to ground, so VDD is connected to ground through PMOS transistor and T2 transistor. So, output of this circuit is 0. Suppose I am taking this input value A value 0, B value 0. So in this case both the transistor are turn off. So only PMOS transistor alone turn on. So VDD is connected to output side through the PMOS transistor. Now output of the circuit is 1. So this is the simple way to draw the structure for NOR gate and NAND gate and NOR gate. So advantages of pseudo NMOS. So in pseudo NMOS, the first advantage is less number of transistor used. So less number of transistor used compared to CMOS. So it's the first advantage. And second advantage is area is minimized and delay also minimized compared to CMOS. So area and delay. So both are minimized. And third one low power dissipation so low power dissipation 
So these are the advantages of pseudo inverse. So first one is less number of transistor used compared to CMOS transistor. Area and delay is minimized. Low power dissipation. So what is the drawback? So drawback is a this pseudo NMOS logic is power dissipated. So static power is high. So static power is high compared to CMOS because the output of the transistor is low. So the output of the transistor is low. So in this case, the PMOS transistor and pull down network. So both the transistors are turned. So the direct current path exists between the PMOS and NMOS. So pull up network and pull down network. So this is the major drawback of pseudo NMOS logic. So I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.